Vidura College, Grade 1, Computer Studies. Hello, my dear children. How are you all? I hope everyone is fine and safe. So today, I am here with a new computer lesson. But, before that, I think it's better to recall the previous lesson. Are you all ready? Let's get started. So, can you all remember the last lesson we did? It's about where computers are used. Computers are used in various places for many different types of work. And it helps us to do our work easily. Here are some places where computers are used. Hospitals. They use computers to do medical tests, to keep medical records, and for office work. Schools. You all know where computers are used at school. They are mainly used in the computer lab for students to use them for their education. Supermarket Computers are used in supermarkets to issue bills. Home Why do we use computers at home? To do homework to watch movies, to play games. You can use it for many purposes. Hotels. Computers are used in hotels to keep records, to maintain reservations. Police station. They use computers to keep criminal records, to check fingerprints, and for office work. Office At the office, computers are used for many purposes. It makes it easier for people to organize and find information quickly. Now you all know what we have learned in the previous lesson. What are we learning today? Today we will learn how to operate the computer. It is very important to learn how to start and shut down a computer. First, I will teach you how to start a computer. There are a few steps to follow in order or else the computer might get damaged. We all know that computer is an electronic device. So, it needs electricity to work. So, step 1 Switch on the power supply. Step 2. Switch on the UPS. UPS is an equipment that keeps the power supply steady and gives power when there is a power failure. Switch on the system unit. It is also called as CPU. Switch on the monitor. You can see the monitor screen. This entire screen is called the desktop. Now the computer is ready for you to work. Let's learn the parts appeared on the screen. There are three items here. They are called 
icons and this is start button and task bar let's learn how to shut down the computer now i have taught you the names of parts that appear on the screen first step to shut down the computer is to click on the start button a menu will appear as shown here step 2 click on the shut down button then this message box will appear on the screen windows is shutting down step 3 switch off the monitor step 4 switch off the ups and last step 5 switch off the power supply let's learn few ways how to take care of your computer You should not eat or drink while working on the computer because your food might spill on it. You should not play with any wires attached to the computer or any switches around it. You should keep the mouse always on the mouse pad. You should never touch a computer or any switches with wet hands. Even while cleaning a computer, you should use a dry cloth. A computer must be covered when it is not in use. This will keep the dust away from the computer. You must use the keyboard very gently. Do not bang on the keys. Never switch off the system unit directly. You should always follow the correct steps while shutting down a computer. Do not sit too close to the monitor. It may cause stress to your eyes. Now we have come to the end. Let me check whether you can remember the lesson. So let's review. How do you start a computer? There are few steps to follow. Step 1. Switch on the power supply. Step 2. Switch on the UPS. Step 3. Switch on the CPU. Step 4. Switch on the monitor. How do you shut down a computer? Again, there are few steps to follow. Step 1. Click on Start button. Step 2. Click on Shut down button. Step 3. Switch off the monitor. Step 4. Switch off the UPS. Step 5. Switch off the power supply. Well done my dear kids. Let me see whether you can tell me few ways to take care of your computer. What's this? 
you should always use a dry cloth to clean the computer. Is it good to play near the computer? No, you should not play near the computer. Do not press key so hard. Is it good to eat near the computer? No, we should not eat or drink near the computer. Well done, my dear children. I'm so happy about you all. Now, let's begin to do the exercise in the textbook. Can you all take out your computer textbook now? Are you all ready? Okay, children. All of you turn to page 43. 43. Let's begin to do the first exercise. Mark, tick or cross. Can you all keep your finger on letter A? Right. You have to click start button to turn off the computer. Is it right or wrong? It is correct. Letter B. If you want to switch off the computer, you should switch off the power supply. Is it correct? No, it is wrong. Letter C. UPS keeps the computer working for some time, even after power goes off. It is correct. Last question. Letter E. If the computer is not shut down properly, it may create problems. Yes or no? Yes, it is correct. Let's do the next exercise. Label what are shown by the arrows. What is this picture shown here? Once the computer is on, you can see this on the monitor screen, isn't it? What are the items shown here? They are called icons. So children, write the word icon there. You can see the start button on the bottom left corner. Here is the start button. Right there, start button. What is this entire screen called? It is called the desktop. Write the word desktop. Can you see the line below? It is called the task bar. Write task bar. Children. Now turn to the next page. Page 44. 44, 44. Let's do the third exercise. Match the following. Match the following. 
I will read letter A. Clean the computer system with a dry cloth. Can you see a picture cleaning the computer with a dry cloth? Yes. Match it. Letter B. Keep the mouse on the mouse pad. Where can you see a mouse on the mouse pad? Here, the last picture. Let us see. Do not play with the wires. Can you see there are some wires? Letter D. Cover the computer when not in use. The first picture. Letter E. Do not press the keys very hard. The second picture. Well, that's all for today, children. So, until next time, goodbye, stay safe and stay home.